G'day, this is Mr. Thompson. I'm going to show you a few skills that you're going to need in order to complete your microscope research mini task. So your task requires you to choose one of these three scientists, uh, then, write, uh, for, then write a short biography about the scientist, uh, describe the type of microscope they invented or used and the main features of the microscope, describe how their work contributed to our understanding of living things, um, whether that was discoveries that they made themselves or discoveries that uh, their invention helped other people make, doesn't matter. Um, and you need a bibliography. So, um, and it says here that your report must be written as a Microsoft Word document. Uh, and you've got one page to write it, so you're going to have to keep it fairly concise. So uh, let's have a quick go at this. I'm going to write a report like this, uh, but I'm not going to choose one of these scientists. I'm going to choose, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to write about Gal Galileo and how he contributed to the telescope. Uh, so I've already started a document. Uh, where is it? Over here. So um, I put some headings in. Galileo, Galilei himself. Uh, some information about him. That's the first bit of the task. The second bit of the task then you're going to write about the microscope. I'm going to write about the telescope um, and Galileo's discoveries and a bibliography. So they're, they're my four headings that I've put in uh, to, to get started. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go and do some research. Now, before I go and do the research, uh, I'm going to start writing my bibliography. Now, you might think that the bibliography is the last thing you write when you do research because it's the last thing on the list, usually, on your task sheet. However, um, here's a tip. Um, the bibliography should be the first thing you start whenever you do a research task because it's very, very difficult to find all your sources, all the places that you got your information for from, right at the end. Uh, it's much better if you collect uh, the sources that you've used for your information as you go. So the very first thing, I'm going to show you how to use um, Cite This For Me. So if you go to www.citethisforme.com, uh, this is a website that you can use for free. Uh, now, it's a little bit painful to use for free. It, um, it won't store your bibliography um, and, uh, and, and it won't save it unless you register um, actually, you can register for free or you can register and pay some money depending on how many features you want. I'm just going to show you how to use it without registering. Um, so it's even, even without creating an account, it's very useful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to www.citethisforme.com. Uh, now, here it says citation style and citation, citation style is MLA. Uh, at Westmac, we use the Harvard citation style. So I'm going to click on Harvard there. And what that'll do is that'll use the convention, the Harvard convention. So that's going to format things in the right way for our school. Okay, now I need to go and find some information. Um, so I've found three websites that I think are going to be really useful for me. I've found this website here, uh, biography.com. And it's got this great article about Galileo. It's got a lot of information that I'm going to need. Um, so that's really good. Um, and it's got this picture of Galileo. Actually, I'm, I'm going to use another picture. I found another one I like better. So this one here I found on Universe Today, uh, a website called Universe Today. And um, it's got this, this is quite a famous picture of Galileo, uh, quite recognizable. Um, and it's got a whole bunch of other information down here, further down the page as well. There we go, further down, further down the page there. So really useful information there. Now, I also need a diagram of a telescope. Um, so I looked, I, I went on to Google Images, or I went on to Google, and I searched for Galileo Telescope, and I looked under Images, um, and I found uh, all these pictures of Galileo and his telescopes. Terrific. And so I had a look through, and I found, here's one that I like here. And I like this one because it's got a picture of a replica of Galileo's telescope, what it looked like, but it's also got this diagram and it's got some labels underneath it. Um, so I, I really like that one. However, um, I need to find out where this diagram came from. So I can't put in my bibliography that I got it from Google. That's um, uh, that's not giving proper credit to the per people who, uh, who actually created this diagram. Um, so I, what I've done is I've clicked through, I've clicked through on here, and I've found out that that diagram there actually comes from uh, a NASA website. Terrific, that's a reputable website. So I'm going to copy that diagram from there 
and I'm going to use that in my bibliography. All right, so now it's time to start writing my report. So the first thing I did was I uh, looked at this biography website and I read it. I read it, uh, read it. I didn't read everything in it, but I read most of the, the important uh, sections that were important for me that had the information that I needed. Uh, and I just made a note on a bit of paper. I made a note of the important facts that are, that are important for my report. Uh, now, having written them down, uh, then in my own words, I've gone to my document. There it is. There it is. I've gone to my document and I've written in my own words uh, those important facts uh, about Galileo himself. So now I need to include that website that I just used in my bibliography, and I also need to include an in-text reference. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, website. So this is the website, and I need to um, take that URL. So uh, I'm going to copy that, Control-C, copy that, and I'm going to move across to Cite This For Me. Uh, now... Uh, I, want an ad, I want to add that website to my bibliography. So I'm going to click on this button over here that says website. And it'll pop up a screen for me any second now. And I'm going to paste that URL that I've just used, paste that into uh, this URL bar. Now I'm going to click on the auto site button. Click on auto site and, and uh, the program will, or the website will go away and it will try to find information about this website. Um, for my bibliography. So we'll give, just give it a minute there. Now, it's found a bit of information. The article title is called Galileo. The website title is called Biography, biography.com. Uh, here's the URL, but it couldn't find the authors, the publisher, and the publication date. Uh, so I'll click on this final step button here. Now, it's pretty important that I fill in as much information as I can. So uh, cite this for me found a little bit of information. Let's go and see if I can find some more. Okay, so let's go back to the website. Um, here's our biography website. And if I scroll down the bottom of the website, we might find that it gives us a bit more information. So coming down, coming down. Ah, here we go. So this particular website's got citation information. So the, it, the article title is actually called Galileo Biography. I'm going to copy that. Um, so the page title, Galileo Biography, good. Okay, come back to here. Uh, the author is biography.com editors. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that where it says author. Where's author? Um, here we go, uh, author. Now, first name, last name, um, I'll just put, put biography.com editors just into one of those fields. That will do. Okay, so let's go back to uh, here. Website name, the biography.com website, um, and the URL, we've already got that. The access date, we've got that. Publisher, we don't have that yet. So publisher, there's our publisher. And I'm going to put that publisher into here. Publisher, paste it there. Okay, and let's see. That's last updated, December the 2nd. 2015. So I go back to here. Oh, so a year published. Let's put 2015 there. Okay, so what I've done is I've filled in as much information as I can um, about this particular website. Now, now, not all websites have all this information down the bottom, but you should do your best to find out as much information about the website you're using as you can and populate this information and cite this for me with as much information as you can. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the button that says Add Reference. All right, so what Cite This For Me has done now is it's given me uh, the correct format for my in-text reference. There it is there, um, that section there. And it's also given me the correct format for my bibliography. Okay, so th that's very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, section for my bibliography. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to Control-C, copy that. Now it's going to give me an ad. And I'm going to ignore the ad. Um, thinking, thinking, there we go. Yep, that's great. So I've copied that and closed that. Now I'm going to switch back to my Word document. Here's my Word document. Uh, here we go. So what I need to do is I need to come down to my bibliography and paste that bibliography, big bibliography information straight into my bibliography section. Uh, so that's my first bit of my bibliography done. 
Uh, now, I also need to add my in-text reference. In other words, I need to add something up here that says where I got this information from. Even though it's not word for word, and it's important that it's not word for word, it's my own words, but I got the facts and I got the, the ideas uh, from that website. So I need to put some information in there that says this information came from this website. So let's have a look at how I do that. I'll go back to cite this for me, uh, where it says in text there. If I click on that, in text, uh, control C, I'll copy that. And I'm going to uh, then come back over here uh, to my Word document. I'm going to paste that into there, control V. Okay, so now what I've got is I've got my in text reference, that's that one there, and I've got my bibliography entry down here. So what, can, what someone can do is when they read through my document, uh, they can read all this information and they can go, oh, I wonder where Mr. Thompson got that, that information. Here's the clue. He got it from Biography 2015. What does Biography 2015 mean? Well, if I, if I take, come down to my bibliography, Biography 2015, it tells me with more information there where I actually got that information. So that's important. We have the in-text reference and then we have the entry in the bibliography. Okay. Let's move on. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to put in uh, a photograph. So let's go. Here's the photograph that I wanted to use, a photograph of uh, Galileo. Um, so I'm going to right click on this one and copy that image and uh, go back to my Word document. Well, go back to this one. Uh, and where do I want to put that? I want to put that here somewhere. So I'm going to Control V to paste that. Okay, there's my document. Now that's too big. I don't want it that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it and I'm going to format it. So I'm going to right click on the document on, on the picture and I'm going to come down here to wrap text and I'm going to click square. What that means is when I make this picture smaller, it means that the text can be beside the picture. I'll show you what I mean. So if I grab that corner and make it smaller, there we go. That, that, that looks pretty good there. So I've got the picture and I've got the text next to it. Now, I need to put a reference in for that picture. So I, I can't just take that picture and not say where I got it from. So let's go back to the website that I got it from. That's the website I got it from. So this is a different website to the one I was on before. So I need to go through this process again. I need to control C, uh, take a copy of that URL, go over to cite this for me. Uh, I need to add this other website into cite this for me. Okay, so there, so I'm going to paste that URL from that uh, website that I got the picture from. I'm going to click auto site there. Okay, uh, now actually it's done a pretty good job. It's found out that the author was Matt Williams. The article title was Who Was Galileo Galilei? Uh, the website title, the URL, couldn't find the publisher or the publication done. Okay, I'll click, click on final step. Let me go back to the website and see if I can find the publisher or the publication date. Uh, any information about the publisher? Let's go down the bottom. Okay, looking for some information about the publisher. All right, let's have a look. Uh, okay, Matt Williams, that's the author. Um, now, cite this for me, pick that up automatically, so that's okay. Um, now, I can't find any information. Oh, actually, it looks like copyright 2017, Universe Today. So, you know what? I'm just going to say Universe Today is the publisher. So let's, let's copy that. Control C, go back to cite this for, um, cite this for me. And under Publisher, I'm going to write Universe Today. Okay. Now, here's a small problem. Uh, Cite This For Me has actually picked up two authors, both of them called Matt Williams. Now, I went and checked on the website. It was only written by Matt, Matt Williams once. Uh, there was only one Matt Williams. So uh, there's a little glitch there. I think it's probably had his name written on the paper twice, and so it's picked up two different authors. Uh, so I'm just going to delete one of those authors. Yep, so we've just got one author, and his name is Matt Williams. And I'm going to uh, click there to update the reference. And there we go. So there's our second, there's our bibliography entry for that website. Okay, so uh, let me right click on 
that bibliography entry, copy that, go to my, uh, here we go, go to my report. Um, so there's my second bibliography entry, control V to paste that there. Now I need to put an in-text reference um, in here uh, on, on the photograph. Now, how do I go about doing that? Okay, well, that's not too hard. I'll um, go back to cite this for me. Here we go, close the ad. Okay, so there's our in-text reference. So let me click on that and copy that. Okay, and I'll go back to my report. Now, I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to add a caption, insert a caption. So that'll put some text underneath the picture um, with some information in it. So figure one, I'm going to say figure one, uh, Gal, let me spell it correctly, Galileo, oh, Galileo, Galilei, and now I'm going to put my insight reference. I'm going to paste there. So underneath that uh, picture now, we'll have figure one, Galileo Galilei. That's the title of the, or the, the, the title of the picture uh, that I want to use. And then that Williams 2017, that tells me where I got the picture from. Click OK. There we go. And you can see it's put it underneath that picture. Figure one, Galileo Galilei, Williams 2017. So if somebody needs to know where I got that picture from, they can see Williams 2017. Come down to my bibliography where it says Williams 17. At Williams 2017, and it tells them exactly where I got the picture from. I think that's enough information um, for this one video. Um, I'll finish this report and I'll make this report available to you so you can see what a report should look like when it's finished. Um, but I think that gives you enough information, enough skills there, so that you can go and complete your own report. Have fun.